As an equine vet, we don't frequently require access to the elbow joint. So when we do, the approach should be easy, straightforward, reliable and safe. Horses don't generally like being stuck with needles, so the Kuru approach, which uses a spinal needle that penetrates the triceps muscle, may not be so well tolerated. The craniolateral approach is easier, but it's sometimes hard to retrieve fluid, and when performing a joint block, periarticular local anesthetic can cause temporary radial nerve paralysis, which wears off, but cuts the lameness evaluation for that day short. We prefer the caudolateral approach, as it uses easily palpable bony landmarks and fluid is readily retrievable. The literature, however, is unclear as to where the needle was placed exactly, and some textbooks describe that injectate is placed in the ulnaris lateralis bursa that communicates with the elbow joint. When Sams and colleagues in 1996 demonstrated that this communication only exists in 38 to 48 percent of limbs, it was generally discouraged to use the caudolateral approach for elbow arthrocentesis. So we performed a study using 70 cadaver limbs, identifying the bony protrusion of the lateral humeral condyle and the lateral tuberosity of the radius. Then measuring about two-thirds of the distance down from the humeral condyle, caudal to the collateral ligament, and the bony ridge can be palpated, a 20 gauge, one and a half inch needle was advanced perpendicular to the skin into the joint until the hub of the needle touches the skin. Fluid was easily aspirated and then 10 mils of methylene blue solution injected. The limb was dissected carefully to identify the radial nerve as it runs over the elbow joint. When removing the triceps muscle, the deep branch could be found at the caudal aspect of the humerus, curving round, travelling cranially to the distal medial part of the bone, then running between the humeral condyles within the radial fossa, it then proceeds mid sagittally over the cranial elbow joint pouch and the lateral radius, where it disappears under the lateral digital extensor tendon and the extensor carpi ulnaris. No variation was found in the anatomical location of the nerve in the limbs dissected. The ulnaris lateralis bursa and the elbow joint were then opened to show blue staining, which was present in all 70 elbow joints and 40 bursas. In the limbs where communication was present, a window in the membrane between the two structures could be easily identified. So in conclusion, we believe that with the caudolateral approach, the needle is placed within the elbow joint space, providing easy, reliable and consistent access to the elbow away from the deep branch of the radial nerve.